What if I told you that four simple inventions from ancient China shaped the way we live today? Can you guess what they might be? One helped explorers navigate the unknown, another ignited revolutions, and a third transformed how we share knowledge. Intrigued? Let's uncover their incredible stories. The Four Great Inventions of Ancient China Papermaking, printing, gunpowder, and the compass are often celebrated as milestones in human progress. Imagine standing in an ancient marketplace, surrounded by the sounds of merchants calling out their wares. Somewhere in the heart of bustling ancient China, a humble invention was born, not in grandeur, but in simplicity. Little did anyone know, each invention emerged from unique circumstances, shaped by the needs and challenges of their time. These discoveries would later ignite revolutions across the globe, ready to hear the stories of how they came to be. What made ancient China the birthplace of papermaking, and how did this simple material become a global phenomenon? Papermaking originated during the Han Dynasty, a time when silk and bamboo scrolls were the main mediums for writing. While effective, these materials were expensive and cumbersome. The demand for a more practical alternative grew as education and record-keeping expanded across the empire. In 105 CE, Kai Lun, a resourceful court official known for his innovative thinking, took on a challenge that would change history. According to records, it said that one evening, Kai Lun, exhausted but determined, wandered into the forest. He observed how wasps build their nests out of chewed wood fibers. It made him wonder, could fibers like this hold writing? After months of experimenting, mashing bark, hemp, and old rags, Kai Lun created the first paper, a material that was lighter, cheaper, and easier to produce. He presented the invention to the emperor, and the emperor was so impressed that he declared it a treasure of the empire. Kai Lun's discovery transformed how knowledge was recorded and shared, paving the way for the golden age of Chinese literature and bureaucracy. Can you imagine a time when copying a book took months? How did the invention of printing change this forever? Before printing, texts were copied by hand, a painstaking process performed by scribes, scholars and monks. Every single word, illustration, and annotation had to be meticulously reproduced. This made books rare and expensive, accessible only to the elite. Imagine copying an entire encyclopedia without making a mistake. The art of woodblock printing emerged during the Tang Dynasty, allowing entire pages to be carved onto wooden blocks and pressed onto paper. Early woodblock was first used to reproduce Buddhist texts, fulfilling the spiritual need to spread teachings efficiently. It was a breakthrough, but it had its limits. Each block was labor-intensive to carve and could only print a single-page design. Then, during the Song Dynasty, a man named Bi Sheng dared to think differently. Bi Sheng wasn't a scholar or a scribe. He was an inventor with a passion for solving problems. Frustrated by the inefficiency of woodblock printing, he began experimenting with a new method. One evening, as Bi Sheng worked on his pottery, inspiration struck. He shaped individual Chinese characters out of clay, baked them in a kiln for durability, and arranged them on an iron plate. This allowed him to assemble, disassemble, and rearrange texts as needed. No carving required for each new page. It wasn't an instant success. Early attempts to secure the characters in place failed, with the delicate clay pieces scattering under pressure. Undeterred, Bi Sheng refined his method, eventually using a sticky resin to hold the movable type firmly in place. Word of his invention spread, and soon other inventors improved upon his work. Movable type became a tool for revolutionizing the production of books and documents, enabling knowledge to flow faster than ever before. One popular story tells of a struggling scholar who visited Bi Sheng in desperation. He needed books for his studies, but couldn't afford hand-copied manuscripts. Bi Sheng demonstrated his movable type, printing multiple copies of a text overnight. The scholar was not only amazed, but inspired to share this invention with others, helping it gain widespread use. Printing was no longer just for the elite. It became a tool for everyone. 
merchants, educators, and even villagers eager to learn. This innovation didn't just save time. It democratized knowledge, opening doors for ideas to travel far and wide. How could an alchemist's failure spark the most explosive discovery in history? In the 9th century, during the Tang Dynasty, alchemists were obsessed with a single goal, unlocking the secrets of immortality. Deep within smoky laboratories, they experimented with all manner of ingredients, precious metals, minerals and plants, seeking to concoct the mythical elixir of life. One fateful day, an alchemist mixed sulphur, charcoal and saltpeter, believing this combination held the key to eternal youth. Instead, the mixture ignited in a violent burst of flames, sending sparks and smoke flying across the room. Terrified but fascinated, the alchemist realized they had stumbled upon something powerful, though not at all what they were looking for. At first, this discovery was a novelty. Recipes for fire medicine spread, and gunpowder became a staple in colorful fireworks that lit up festivals and royal celebrations. But as its potential became clear, military minds took notice. Legend has it that a general, frustrated by the limits of traditional weapons, learned of gunpowder from a traveling alchemist. He immediately saw its potential and commissioned the creation of flaming arrows and crude bombs. These fiery weapons terrified enemies, turning the tide in battles and changing warfare forever. By the Song Dynasty, engineers had refined gunpowder into explosive devices like fire lances and early cannons, marking the dawn of a new era in military technology. Stories tell of cities defended with great fire dragons that spewed flames and sparks, creating an almost mythical aura around this deadly invention. Gunpowder didn't just revolutionize warfare, it became a tool for engineering and exploration, paving the way for the modern world. From its accidental discovery to its transformative impact, this invention is a fiery reminder that even failures can lead to explosive success. What if a simple stone could point the way to new worlds? Long before the compass became a tool for sailors, it was steeped in mystery. During the Warring States period, Chinese scholars discovered lodestone, a naturally magnetic rock. Its ability to align with the Earth's magnetic field fascinated them, and it quickly found a role in geomancy, an ancient art of divination. Lodestone was used to position buildings and tombs in harmony with the heavens, ensuring prosperity and balance. But as trade routes expanded during the Han Dynasty, practical minds began to wonder, could this magical stone help guide travelers? The first compasses were crude, a spoon-shaped lodestone on a bronze plate, known as a south-pointing spoon. Merchants traveling the Silk Road used this device to navigate through vast deserts and treacherous mountains. It wasn't perfect, but it worked. Centuries later, during the Song Dynasty, the compass underwent a transformation. Artisans replaced lodestone with magnetic needles, suspended in water or on silk threads to ensure precision. One legend tells of a lost general who, fleeing enemy forces, used a makeshift compass to guide his troops through an uncharted forest. By trusting its magnetic pull, he led his army to safety, and ultimately to victory. The compass didn't just guide sailors and troops, it opened the door to exploration. Chinese merchants reached distant lands, forging trade networks that brought silk, porcelain and tea to the rest of the world. This small device became a symbol of human ingenuity and a beacon for those willing to venture into the unknown. It wasn't just an invention, it was a lifeline, a tool that dared humanity to dream beyond the horizon and embrace the uncharted. What if the greatest innovations came not from genius, but from curiosity and persistence? What if your next small idea could spark a revolution? Let's think about the stories we've explored. An alchemist seeking immortality accidentally inventing gunpowder, a potter rearranging clay to revolutionize printing, and a sailor relying on a magnetic needle to navigate uncharted seas. These weren't people aiming to change the world. They were solving the problems right in front of them, Innovation doesn't demand perfection, it demands courage. 
Remember the scribes copying books by hand before printing? It was slow, repetitive, and tedious. Bi Sheng saw this problem and asked, what if there's a better way? That question sparked the movable type revolution. Now look at your own life. Are there tasks you dread or processes you find inefficient? Maybe it's how you organize your work, how you approach your hobbies, or even how you communicate with others. What if you asked yourself, is there a better way? Here's the thing. Creativity isn't just for inventors or artists. It's for anyone who dares to see the world differently. Take gunpowder, born from an alchemist's failure. What if the next time you face failure, instead of giving up, you ask, what can I learn from this? Even the compass, that simple yet profound invention, teaches us something vital. You don't have to see the whole path ahead to take the next step. Just like sailors navigating the fog, your ideas can guide you through uncertainty. Trust your instincts and let curiosity be your compass. Imagine if every time you encountered a challenge, you saw it not as a roadblock, but as an opportunity to innovate. Whether it's finding a new way to connect with people, streamlining your daily tasks, or even starting a side project, your small steps could create ripples that change not just your life, but the lives of others. So here's the lesson for today. Every problem is an opportunity, every failure is a spark, and every small idea has the potential to become your greatest invention. What will you create next? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're inspired to spark your own creativity, hit like and subscribe for more tales of human ingenuity. Until next time, keep creating and exploring.